Hey, what's up guys? This is Ernest Delane from Mixed Live Productions. You know, in this time of lockdown, shutdown, quarantine, whatever you want to call it, turns out a lot of DJs are doing live streams now. I did a video on live streaming about seven, eight years ago, and I think it's time to update some of that. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick one, two, three on live streaming today. The things that you need to do to make sure that you get good audio, good video, and just pretty much giving your fans a good live streaming experience. So let's get started. Let's go over the equipment that we'll need. First, we'll need a laptop. In this case, I'm using an older MacBook Pro. Next, you will need a webcam. And in this case, I'm using a Q2 Zoom. It's now discontinued, so don't even ask about it, but it doubles as a webcam. And you'll need a USB sound card or USB mixer, which is separate from your DJ equipment. And of course, you'll need your DJ equipment. For our example, we're using Denon's MCX 8000. Next, you wanna run a speed test, and you wanna run a speed test to check your upload speeds, not your download speeds, because you're uploading to the internet. And you wanna see at least a speed test in the area of three megabytes per second uh, at a minimum. That will ensure that you're gonna get at least 720 HD video going up to the internet. Now that we have that done, let's go ahead and connect our USB sound card and webcam. Now we want to connect it to an output source separate from what we're using as monitors. So I'm using the booth out to monitor the sound for me personally. So I'm going to use the master out to connect my sound card, going out RCA in this case, and plug the USB side of the sound card into your laptop. Next connect your webcam USB to USB. If you haven't done so, go online and download the OBS software. Just do a quick Google search for OBS. Find the software and once you're on the website, make sure you just download the software that's specific to your platform, whether it's Windows or Mac. Follow the instructions to set up the software. Once it's all set up, you want to create your first scene. Click on the plus sign to start the scene. We're going to call this scene one. And next we want to add our sources to the scene. So click on the plus sign. We're going to set up the webcam creating new on this and just name it what you'd like to name it. For this one, we'll name it QT camera. Find the, the, the camera, the webcam, and click OK. We're going to do the same thing for the sound card. So add another source and click on audio input capture. Just name it um, how you would like to. I'm going to name the sound card. Click OK. In the drop down, click on the USB audio and OK. And as you can see in the audio mixer section, now you have sound card as a sound source showing up. Now let's make sure we get our levels right for our sound source. So let's go ahead and play a track. Make sure it's playing, make sure the view meters are reading. And then in OBS, looking at the sound card, make sure that we're getting levels and we might wanna trim it back or trim it up to make sure that our levels aren't distorted or too low. Next, we wanna set up our webcam to make sure that we have the best viewing angle for our fans. So it may take a little tweaking back and forth to try to get the angle that we want, but we want to get something quite pleasant for those that are watching. And let's see what we got here. And I think we got it right on the first shot. So we're good to go here. Awesome. Now, if you are a laptop DJ, what I do not recommend is putting your laptop front and center if it's blocking your camera. Big no-no. 
move it to the side. And also, even when it's on the side, try not to pay so much attention to the laptop. Try to keep your focus on your board and on the camera. There's a number of different streaming sites out there, such as YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitch TV. But for this example, we're gonna use Mixcloud Live. Once you log into your Mixcloud account, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna name your stream. Then you're gonna copy the RTMP server name, going to the stream section of OBS in the settings, paste that, and then copy the stream key. Go back into OBS and paste that in the stream key area and save it. Next, we're going to test our stream. So we're going to hit start stream. Go back over to Mixcloud. You'll see that it gives you an option to go live now. Click on go live now. Refresh your web browser and you should see your stream going live. Once you're completed with your stream, simply just hit stop streaming in OBS to complete the stream. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like. Also, please subscribe, tell a friend, and also ring the bell so that next time you put out a video, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for watching and good luck. Thank <laughs> you.